Hey guys, it's Manny Perns. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have no idea what compelled me to do this video because in the first place, I was afraid that people might see this as some sort of bragging, which I'm not even trying to do, but this was in my long list of YouTube video ideas and I don't exactly know why it was there, but here we are. Today I'll be sharing to you guys my hair accessories collection, basically hair stuff that I've accumulated since 2019. Well, the first hair clips that I've had were given to me by my mom in 2019, but I didn't start collecting hair accessories until 2020, which was the start of pandemic. Since I've been doing a lot of hair videos on my channel already, I don't think it's a surprise that I'm into hair accessories. But actually, there's still a lot of hair stuff that I haven't shown in any of my videos yet, or even I haven't used them yet. I don't know if this is a weird collection, but this just makes me so happy. Literally, you can give me a hair clip or two on my birthday, then that would instantly make my day. Anyway, almost all of the stuff that I have are from Shopee, so I'll be putting down the links in the description box below so you can check them out later if you want to buy them. Speaking of links, I have three disclaimers in this video. Important one first. I am not bragging or even trying to brag about these stuffs. I am doing this for the purpose of helping you guys out, especially if you're into hair accessories like me or who's looking for inspirations on what they like, what to buy, where to buy, blah blah blah. Second is some of the stuffs that I bought before were already either sold out, unlisted, or their shops were unavailable. So I searched for other shops that are selling the exact same products, so those are the links that I will be putting down below. And finally, third disclaimer, to my dismay, this video is not sponsored. There will be timestamps on this video classified into categories, namely hair clips and barrettes, scrunchies and hair ties, headbands and hair extensions, and hair tools. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share! Let's go! So these were the first clips that I've had which were given by my mom. I haven't used them in a very while now. These clips are actually a set according to their color, but I separated them, put them together as to their type. Also, please don't mind me and my weird dance moves. I had too much fun filming while One Direction was hyping me up in the background as my music. If you notice, I bought every color in the rainbow because when I go out, I like my hair accessory to match with the color that I'm wearing. So yeah. And yes, I bought more colored bobby pins. And then there's these paired star and heart clips. The other pair for the heart got lost, so she's alone now. I haven't really used these things for a while too. I got these set of different colored hair clips as well. I actually don't remember why I bought them, but I gotta blame it on the cuteness. Now these things, I do remember why I bought it. It's because it trended on TikTok and Pinterest, and I remember I wanted it so bad, and honestly, they were worth it. In this big red box, I got my first drawer where I put my fancy barrettes. Whenever I buy something pearly or shiny, I put them in that section. These pearl clips were also one of the pioneers of my collection. They're old, but still look trendy and cute. This little guy, I bought it as an extra. That time, I was into these types of clips, you know, with the square shape, resin kind of design. I don't know what you call that, but it just looks so fancy and girly. I love them. Next, so these ones I call True Beauty Clips because they are inspired by that hair clip Chayun will give to Moon Gaeyeon in the series. Okay, this big guy here was like my go-to hair clip before. When I had no idea what to wear, this was instantly the clip I grabbed. These ribbon clips were also like my go-to. I've used them a lot of times now. Alright, these barrettes, I bought them as a set of 9 pieces, but I lost one of them. I never really got to show these in public as often as I get, like the other ones. Maybe because there was no occasion that I was invited to that would have perfectly suited these types of accessories. Hey 
I have another drawer from the big red that contains other stuff which I like to call the trendy slash colorful slash Y2K vibes kind of hair clips. Little guy here has never been worn ever. I bought it for a video which I never got to do. Next are these mini transparent bow clips that I've never worn before until this video. Oh, this one is one of my favorite pair of clips ever. They look freaking cute. I don't care if I look like a child wearing them. These pair, I also bought it for a video that I never filmed, which was supposed to be an Olivia Rodrigo hairstyle recreation. Okay, I was debating to buy this one, but it turned out to be one of my faves. It's so freaking hella cute. I want to buy the other pair of animals now. <laughs> Next, we have the embroidered butterfly hair clip that I used in my Encanto-inspired hairstyles video. Oh, these ones are actually given by my sister. She bought it in the market, and I honestly haven't used them until now. I also got these mini jeweled flower clips. I bought them because of a YouTuber, Mei Yan. She does hairstyling videos, and she inspired me to be one as well. And then I have these even more mini flower clips, which I have used only once, and that was in my ASMR video. And here are the mini butterfly clips. Again, I bought them because it trended. These bow clips were given by my sister as well from the market, and I gave away a pair each to my best friends because it's too many for me. Next is this big flower clip that I never remember having. I think my sister had it before and just dumped it on my stuff. Okay, I bought this for Christmas and because of the typhoon, I never got to wear them. Then we also have this clip that I purchased for the sole purpose of recreating Blackpink hairstyles. I also have this big purple bow clip and again, I only used it once. I have to use this again. Lastly, for the hair clips and barrettes, I have these claw clips. The black one was from my mom and the transparent one was the one I purchased. This is what I use daily. I switch from scrunchies to this every now and then. Definitely a must-have. It's a lot of scrunchies. I know. I bought every color from the rainbow again for the same reason. Gotta be honest, most of them get lost all of a sudden because I keep on switch using them. I also have a purple one like this, but my mom's currently using it. Then I have this scrunchie similar to Nini of HSMTMTS Season 2. And this tie-dye scrunchie with long tassel. I used to call them scrunchie with tails. Shout out to my friend Jessa who gifted me these silk scrunchies. They are so pretty, that's why I rarely wear them out. These cute little bow hair ties, I purchased them from a shop called Bagel Girl, which is located in SM Mall, City Cebu. I also got the same kind but in color blue, but the blue ones are from a different shop called Broadway Gems, located in Ayala Mall, Cebu. Those kinds of shops are my literal happiness, guys. You can see hearts in my eyes whenever I go there. I also got these small size scrunchies with velvet material and they have these cute rhinestone gems. They're also from Broadway Gems. Hair elastics are essentials. They're like the base in your makeup. I have black elastics because I have dark hair, then the colored ones, and then these type. I also got 10 pieces of this hair tie similar to the previous one but with a flower on it. And then this red one that my sister gave me. I don't recall having these too many hair stuffs, but we're almost finished guys, don't go. This was the first headband I got, but I didn't buy it, so I don't remember how I came to possess it. This pearl headband was the first one I bought because guess what? It trended. I never knew a houndstooth pattern was really a thing when I bought this one. Another hair accessory I bought for Christmas, and I actually got to wear this to church on Christmas Eve. Headbands weren't really my thing back then because it gives me headache because I wear glasses, so I avoided them like crazy. But now, either I'm learning to love them, or I've tolerated the pain behind my ears. That's why I only got a few and they're still not the first option when I want to buy hair accessories. Okay, next are these twilly scarves. These are actually for bags, but I use them as headscarves. I mean, these three, I use them for headscarves. One of them, I tied to my laptop bag. All right, hair extensions were purchased because my mom doesn't let me bleach my hair and color it purple. So I did an alternative she can agree on. And then I have this fake bangs extension. Yes, I bought it to prank my family and friends, but now it's actually kind of handy. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. I hmm? 
Last but certainly not the least, the rat tail comb that I broke was part of this set and was the only tool I ever used since I bought this. I have an idea on how to use these but never got to use it. It's a work in progress. Now this one is a tool I've used several times now. It's a 5-in-1 hair curler, 5 interchangeable curling rods. Let me tell you, it's absolutely worth it. And I also have this type of curler, which is called a crimper. It has three big barrels, and honestly, I only asked for it because I was obsessed with the mermaid curls that time, but it still works and gives pretty curls. Before I end this video, I want to share a little background of why I started doing this collection. I was considered a nerd back in school when I was younger. You know, someone who wears glasses and boring ponytail and pale lips. Someone who doesn't know how to do French braid or Dutch braid on herself. I was that person. I was a comfort before style kind of girl, but honestly, I was all comfort, zero style. So when I was beginning to take care of what I look like, it started with my hair. I don't I don't specifically know when and how it happened, but I just started liking to style my hair. Hence, this collection emerged. Some of my friends and most of my family were shocked of the changes. I mean, it was a slow change, but they still noticed it. As the changes go, it made me love putting on other accessories like earrings and necklaces which I never really bothered to do before. Anyway, the thing that I want to say is don't be afraid to get out of your box. Before my mindset was I don't care what I wear or what I look like or what people will think about me as long as I'm comfortable. Which is not bad by the way, I still have that mindset now but with an improved application if that makes sense. I can really say it's true that when you look good you feel good about yourself so if you want to experiment or try new style or aesthetic go for it. Do it for yourself. That's it. That's all I want to say. That's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did as usual. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. I'll see you in my next video.